Hey, so uh, remember hotfix number seven, everyone? You know, the update to the update that I just personally updated you all on less than 24 hours ago? Yeah, I'm gonna need you to forget most of what you heard, but hey now, at least we now have an official release date and a look at the upcoming Twitch drops at the end of the day. But folks, you guessed it. Hotfix number eight is here to correct some of hotfix number seven's mistakes while somehow, some way, still managing to tweak new things within the Mac. Maxwell rework. So let's discuss. And we'll start with a very welcomed reversal of the whole quote unquote not my nightmares, not my circus scenarios that were propping up in these 24 hours. The sanity of others doesn't matter anymore. We can fight another shadow creatures at any time with the force attack action. And that's good, because while I do agree with the whole force attacking thing, I didn't agree with the idea that there was a mechanic introduced that we literally couldn't do anything to help our friends. This is a multiplayer cooperative video game after all. And another gladdening thing that they did was turn attention to console and controller users specifically by adding twin stick aiming for Maxwell spells. Now, I myself am not a console or controller player, mind, but I did a bit of running around with it all, as you can see here, and it felt about as good as it's going to get, I think. Why they don't find a way to just give free Amy to Wartox and now Maxwell is beyond me, and this here might be putting non-mouse and keyboard players in a bit more danger overall, but I think it will do. What we'll also do is Shadow Sneak, I suppose, especially all of its own changes throughout this week, not even counting today's. But if I'm still honest with you, I am shocked that it's not only not a different spell, and that it doesn't nightmarify other things, like pigs here. Still, after today, Shadow Sneak will not only have a new visual effect to go along with our frightened foes, but will also keep them panicked for longer overall, while also having the added bonus of slowing impacted mobs down by a wee bit. And I like that. I like that a lot. But to end the day today comes the tweaks to the one spell that people go from liking to disliking pretty much overnight. The Shadow Prison. Me, personally, I think we have finally hit the sweet spot, as following this hotfix, all normal mobs will be stuck for 24 seconds if not getting hit, while all bosses will remain in their shadowy cages for 12 seconds with no other interactions from us in play. Throw in some punches, however, and normal mobs will be let free in about 16 seconds instead. And finally, all bosses that we are engaged with will come roaring out of the prison in but 8 seconds, regardless of the number of players. It's short for the bosses, yes, and perhaps that does indeed need one last boost to satisfy the crowd, but it is a case of the simpler the better in my opinion. But before I forget, or should I say forget again, because I actually did forget this and had to throw it in the video last second, there is actually a new animation for the Shadow Prison that will help indicate when the spell is waning. If the pillars start shaking in about a couple seconds, the thing's gonna break, so be aware of that. But again, that is literally just one beard's thoughts on the matter, so be sure to share yours down below, because there you have it everyone, hotfix number 8. With the official release mere days away, I don't imagine we'll be seeing many more of each other, but golly has it been a journey already. I've got to say though, I really still don't feel like a master over my puppets even after all this. But we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching folks, well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!